Hi, welcome to sixth grade arithmetic. We are going to start with a couple of things with our lesson algebraic expression and, multi and algebraic multiplication, some things that we need to take a look at. Now, <clears throat> you should have pages 247 and 248 ready. This is lesson 137. Um, you also have a quiz, so after I review, I'll give you, um, I'll let you know when to pause it so you can take a quiz. But some things that I just wanted to go over and that um, you guys have been learning, you've been learning mathematics or arithmetic. Um, and so this is like our main part of, I don't know if you can see this tree yet. Um, you don't need to make fun of me for my drawing again, but that's okay. So arithmetic would be like the main branch of learning for math, um, for mathematics. But there are branches of mathematics that deal with different things. And one of those is algebra. And so that's what we're really looking at right now is this algebra and how, how, it, um, how it affects what you've already learned. So really it's a continuation of arithmetic. It's a branch of mathematics that uses letters and other symbols to represent unknown numbers and applies arithmetic or arithmetical ex operations to them, okay? So al algebra is a shortcut method um, of expressing mathematical expressions. It often uses letters to represent unknown numbers. Um, and one of those numbers that is used most often is X. So algebra expresses multiplication with a raised dot or with parentheses or by writing a number and a letter side by side. And I'm going to demonstrate that with some of our formulas. Okay. Erase my data tree. Okay. So our formula here is a equals pi times r squared, okay? The quicker way to write that and to be in, to not use the x, we would just say pi r squared, right? Okay, we wouldn't even need to put the pi and the r, they're not, we're not gonna mix them up as two different, as one number versus two numbers. If, if we had put 3.14 and the number that represents r, maybe it's 5, 3.14, 5, then we would be mixing it up. But with letters, or you could have one letter and a number, that's okay, okay? So here, p equals 2 times l plus 2 times w. Remember, that's our rectangle or parallelogram. We're going to just say 2l plus two W, okay? And we may have talked about this last year. I think we did a little bit, but it really helps to, to see it and to really, um, really put this into practice. So the other ways would be to use a raised dot. So if you have numbers, like if you were putting it out, 3.114 times five squared, right? You just put a raised dot. And that means multiplication, or you could put them in parentheses. And you wouldn't need to put both of them in parentheses. You would only put one of them in parentheses, really, because that just shows that they're being multiplied. Okay? That's what we do here so that we square the whole fraction instead of um, just the top number. That, the, that parentheses helps us there. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to do this problem on the board. You guys can do that one on your page, and then I'm gonna let you take your quiz, and then we'll get back to looking at the rest of your paper, okay? So if this is 5 8 squared, we're gonna multiply each of them by themselves. So 5 times 5, we would get 25. 8 times 8, what would we get? Okay, it would be 64, okay? Now we're adding seven to this, this fraction, okay? Does this fraction, can this fraction be reduced? No, 
it can be reduced because five is the only thing that can go into 25 or the number 25 and five and 25 can't go into 64. So this expression, the way we would write this number would be five, seven and 25 64 would be how you would say that. So it would just be, just adding those together would just make this a whole number with this fraction, okay? Would be your answer. Okay, so sometimes you look at that and you think, well, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but um, if you did the problem right, then just accept that that's the answer, okay? If you, if you go back and you're like, well, I don't think I multiplied something right, then you should check that and then, um, then you can see if you have the right answer. All right, you can pause the video, take your quiz, and when you come back, we will jump right into our page. All right, I think I gave you enough time to pause that if you didn't. Okay, so I redid or I updated the, the flashcards I made yesterday to show the way that we do it without the X, okay? So this one would be what? It's the perimeter of a parallelogram, okay? What about this one? Area of a rectangle. And this one? The one I messed up on. <laughs> Area of a, our perimeter of a rectangle. Now this one, I did not really change, um, but we would just, in algebra, we would keep it S squared and not side, not S times S, but we could put S next to S and that would be fine. Um, but it would just make more sense to just do the squared. Um, so this is the area of a square. This one is perimeter of a square, so four S. This one doesn't change because it's addition. One half B H is triangle. Circumference of a circle using radius. And this one, circumference circle using diameter. And we're back to the parallelogram. All right, so those are your formulas. And so it actually has you rewriting the formulas in the first section without using the symbol. X, so <clears throat> you can do those. And then there's the simplify section. Remember that the fraction bar indicates division. So um, if it does indicate division, now if you have one of those fractions like this that has it squared, don't go, don't do division, just square this first and then, then it would, um, then it would just be a fraction. Uh, but you can just um, but if it's just a fraction by itself and has like a bigger number over a smaller number, just divide that, okay? Um, and then in section three is finding the area of these and not writing, writing the formula. So I, yes, I want the formula written out and I want you to do A equals your formula, like I equals pi R2, R squared, I'm sorry, pi R squared. And then you're underneath, you're gonna say A equals 3.14 time and use, use a dot or you can use parentheses, um, whichever one is easiest. And then your number squared, and then you can, then the next one, 3.14, and you've simplified the squared, and then you've multiplied the two. So write them all out. I want you to do all of these because it is, um, we're practicing with this and it, it would be good to do them all. If you've got, if you've got fractions that you're multiplying, just, um, see if you can cancel before you multiply, and that may help you with your answer. Back on the back of the page with the review, 
I want the only one in, let's see. So I'm gonna have you do most of this page. So all of section four, you do five, cause that's just the one, one angle. Um, section six, you can pick one of the two to do. Section seven, it's a multiple or it's a matching. So do all of those and then pick two of the story problems to do, okay? So that is what I'm having you do today. And um, I hope you did well on your quiz and that you will do, that you understand this. And um, if you have any questions, make sure to let you, sorry about that, I accidentally paused it. I don't know what I missed out on there. So um, make sure that if you don't understand something that you let your parents know and um, we will see you next time.